Hey guys, it's Mohammed again, and in this video we will be going over the set foreground window function. So, a quick MSDN set foreground window. So, what this so what does this function do? It what this function does is that it brings the window to the top and activates it. And what does it take? It takes the handler and if the function succeeds, the return value is non-zero. If the function fails, the return value is zero. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's open the API viewer. I closed it, obviously. I'll have to do it all over again. So if I don't open 32 API, search the set foreground window, which is right here. We'll just go control C, close it, open your project, 32. Control V, make sure it's public. Control S, the far window. Okay, so uh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention, guys, is that uh, make sure uh, we know that we got the handler by using the find window function. The notepad is open, but keep in mind that this handler changes every time. Don't assume that it's uh, it's just a static ID. It doesn't change at all. It will change. And to prove it, I'll just close this. I'll close notepad and if I open notepad again and if we launch our program after this you'll see the handler will change see the previous number the previous ID the previous handler was starting with 2 but this one is starting with 491 so the handler changes every time just keep that in mind so in this program what we want to do is we want to send a message saying hello so we'll just go send keys dot send Send keys send is a built-in .NET uh, framework function. Uh, it does needs it does need a it does needs the focus for any application that uh, if you if you if you want to send text to any application, make sure that uh, that window is the foreground window and it does uh, it is an active window. So send keys send send keys send needs an active window to work. So what's happening here is if I start this. See, we know we know we got the handler, but what's happening is when I'm running Visual Studio, it steals the focus. So what I want to do is I want to put the focus back to the Notepad window. So I'll do that. Win32. Dot set foreground window hwnd, which is the handler. So what I'm doing is I'm finding the handler for Notepad, which is right here. And if it's not zero, I'm setting the set foreground window for notepad because once I launch this the visual studio steals the focus so I want to put the focus back on to notepad and once that is done I want to send my key send keys dot send hello if I do that ping you you heard the beep it means it didn't work and I'll tell you why it didn't work if you open notepad again we know this function succeeded and you heard the beep the reason that it didn't work is because if you look at our first function, which was find window, we were finding the handler for this title. Remember in the very first video, I said that everything in operating system is a window. So this title bar is a window. This text, big text box or text area is a window. So the handler that we got was for this title bar handler and what we are with what we are doing is we got the handler and we are setting the notepad window to be the active window so it does find the handler and it does put the focus on the notepad and then you're sending the send keys dot hello so basically what you're doing is you're sending the hello to this text this title bar not this text that's why you heard the beep we need to get the handler for this text area and in my next video I'll show you how to do that but because in because like I mentioned I will be doing one video per function so we'll just minimize this and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks